Okay, here we are again, ready for part two. Here we go. Time for more fun with uh, tearing apart tape recorders. I dropped the little um, C clip, dropped that little E ring, but I found it again, fortunately. It's about two millimeters in diameter, so it's a tiny little thing, so uh, easy to lose. But I found it. Uh, now I'm taking the rubber off the idler pulley and uh, I'm gonna, gonna change the tire. I think I ran off to the uh, next room here to get parts is what I did. And here are the, here's a set of belts. <clears throat> here's a set of belts I found on on eBay from a supplier. I'll show you the name of the supplier here in a minute. There we are. Uh, Dynamic Technology right you can find them on eBay it's a really good belt set for the uh, for the Nakamichi's the quality of the belts is uh, is critical for the performance uh, you can get other caps and belts but you'll uh, you'll end up with things like high wow and flutter um, so uh, you gotta be really careful about the quality of the rubber parts you use so here I'm peeling the well, what used to be rubber off of the pulley. Here, <laughs> you can see I spread it apart. It broke in my hand. It's that stiff. 40 years. 40 years old. So, uh, okay, here we go. Here's a new idler pulley. Idler pulley tire getting, getting put on the, uh, on the uh, little nylon uh, pulley wheel. Video's running it twice normal speed because uh, it takes me an hour or two to to redo one of these. Put a little drop of oil on the spindle where that either pulley goes, putting that back in place. And uh, now we gotta put that E ring back on. A little spring, little E ring. Be careful of the position of the spring. There's a little bent part of it that fits into a little groove on the on the pulley and you got to make sure that uh, that the little end of the spring goes into that notch and uh, if you take one apart you'll see so here we go putting that little clip back on it's a bugger it's a really small part know what I did? I lost it. It jumped out of my hand. I'm going to... I turned the camera off. Then I, I, I uh, found it later and put it all back together. So, um... Be careful of the really small parts. Relubing the capstans. Putting them back in place. Moving them around. Make sure they turn freely. Uh, apply a little grease. Could be lithium grease. I think that's what they used originally. I don't know, whatever it was that hardened up. So I have some uh, some grease I got from another supplier called WJOE.com. He sells belt kits also, but um, they didn't work as well as the dynamic technology belts did. I ended up with uh, some wild and flutter issues when I went to measure the auto flutter. Wild and flutter <clears throat> wasn't really audible all that much, but uh, but uh, it did measure a little high on the high side. <clears throat> so I like to uh, get these back so that they're uh, so they're up to original specification. Here I am putting the capstan belt in place. And like a fool, I got some grease on the belt. And I, but I wiped it off. You might want to put the grease on the upper plate instead of on the end of the capstan, so so that doesn't happen. So I'll try to do that on the next the next one. 
Then we're putting the screws back in and keep in mind that they're not all the same lengths so and make sure you don't put the long ones in where the short ones go or you'll, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's put it that way. Going back together. We're almost finished uh, reassembling. With this particular one, the uh, pinch roller arms were stuck in place. They were frozen. So that can be a problem if you don't have the jig to readjust it, to readjust those height. I happen to have uh, the reference plate so that I can uh, get those back into position where they should be. Um, the reference plate is available. You, you, I found them on eBay. Uh, some of them are made of plexiglass, some are made of steel. Plexiglass ones are a little less expensive. So if you're only going to use it once or twice, you might want to uh, look at that. Sometimes you can eyeball it in place and, uh, and get it close enough, but uh, I like to, uh, like to get things exact if I possibly can. Here I am putting the eject mechanism back together. There's a little cable and a little uh, place where it ties down to the transport. And often those break. Um, in another video I'll show uh, an easy repair for it. Um, basically you drill a hole through the uh, plastic um, The plastic where it supports the uh, the end of the eject cable, and uh, use a piece of wire. Run a piece of wire through that hole, the hole you just drilled. That I mentioned there, you drill a hole. <laughs> piece of stiff wire through that. Wrap it around the top of that uh, plastic uh, structure that holds the uh, um, holds the uh, eject cable. Removing the beauty plate, taking off the counter belt, going to replace that. All the rubber parts get replaced. Here's a separate, the next video. Okay, I'm looking at the pinch rollers and noticing that they are frozen in place. So we have to remove the pinch roller arms, relubricate them, put them back in place, adjust the height of those uh, pinch rollers using the uh, reference plate.